Hartebeest bull. The Afrikaans name Hartebeest means something like heart kettle. The form of the horns viewed from behind or from the front shows the outlines of a heart, hence the name. Here at the edge of the pen, a water hole probably created by extensive rainfalls in the past month. A large herd of zebra, approximately 100 animals, is approaching in single file. An experienced tour guide once mentioned that if one wants to watch the migration in the Serengeti, one needs to like wildebeest. Something similar applies to the Atosha National Park. Here one has to like zebras, as they are by far the most numerous amongst the large animals. Herds of several hundred animals can occasionally be observed. When in Germany the halali is blown by a hunting horn, the hunt has come to an end. This symbol was chosen for the Camp Halali when the national park was established, indicating that the hunting of animals had now ended. The bullet holes in the skull of the elephant, however, seem to indicate that he died of a severe headache. Probably as a result of the widespread distribution of water, sighting of kudus was rare. However, when spotted, one is always admiring in awe the majestic appearance of this antelope. Black rhinos can frequently be observed in the vicinity of the Halali camp. Not all rhinos have been dehorned, unless the horns have grown again in the meantime. Good to see the pointed lips, hence the name hook-lipped rhino, which allow the animal to browse efficiently on bushes and shrubs. This national park, impalas as well as springbok can be observed. In the famous Kruger National Park of South Africa, no springbok exist. These are only occurring in the dry west of the country.
the springbok is considered a gazelle. The male has thick horns and the shape is likened to a musical instrument, the lyre. The U, on the other hand, carries much thinner horns. When constantly on the lookout for larger animals, one tends to ignore smaller animals or reptiles. The waterhole at the Okakuyu camp is bordering the fence. Comfortable seating arrangements and a floodlight provide for relaxed game viewing, even at night, without having to ride around in a car. Tosha Pen National Park is the pride of Namibia and great tourism attraction. However, this is not reflected in the condition of the roads inside the National Park. The main roads are in the main in a very good condition, but some of the Minor roads, particularly those leading to some of the waterholes, are absolutely disastrous and clearly indicate that for years there has been no maintenance done, just pure neglect. I'm told that they have sufficient equipment, but this appears not to be in working order. Again, back of maintenance. It's a great pity. I am presently filming a hyena female suckling one of her cups. She is very familiar with cars and concentrates fully on her motherly duties. The cup with all hyenas is black after birth and it only takes on the characteristic spotted coat later. The search is on for cheetah, a very bad potholed roads. So far, I have only seen cheetah twice, but they were too far away 
for filming distance probably 300 meters. It's quite surprising that one does not see more cheetahs considering that there's an abundance of their favorite prey like springbuck and impala. On the other hand, one has to accept that this one section of the Tosha Pan, the called Fisher Pan, is filled with water and allows cheetah to drink wherever they want instead of having to go to a central point like a water hole. I'm filming here five terrapins at the waterhole. For me it's a riddle how these terrapins could arrive here, where this waterhole is an artificial waterhole, no connection to any stream nearby. For miles there is no other water, so how the heck did they get here? Unless somebody put them in to fulfill a function such as eating algae. waterhole are many animals. In the main springbok, wildebeest and zebras. But there are some interesting details. The sand crows coming to drink from far. And also a blue wildebeest bull is chasing every rival away from the water to, to protect his herd or to make sure that he has the herd of cows for himself. I'm just filming a group of three hyenas, spotted hyenas, one of which was carrying the head and neck of a springbok. It is now guarding it. The others are probably jealous. Aina can be quite efficient hunters, not because of their speed, but because of their endurance. They can run down any game until it is exhausted. <laughs> 